Well, many states are basically complying with Joe Biden's vaccine mandate, even in places here like in Florida, where people think, oh, Florida, we're not going to have any of these mandates. You know, we're, we're free out here. And I'm like, well, when I came out here, they said they got a mandate. And I was like, really? I thought this was Florida. Where's Ron DeSantis at? But some hospitals are pushing back, at least one hospital in Alabama, which we're going to cover. Now, it says Alabama hospital defies the Biden administration and ends the vaccine requirement for staff. It says bowing to the threat of legal action against it. One Alabama hospital has rescinded its requirement that all staff be vaccinated against the virus. It says UAB hospital in Birmingham said it will wait to learn how the federal vaccine mandate announced by President Joe Biden will play out before imposing any requirements, according to a local TV. This last week, Alabama Center for Law and Liberty said the hospital was violating state law. And it says, and it, again, it's not that the hospital and the medical staff want everybody to get vaccinated. It's not like they're sitting there, let's go over the details. We're going to show you all these wonderful statistics that show that it works. They're not doing that. It's just, it's just a hammer. Someone's dropping the hammer and then everybody else is meant to fall in line. And so while many people imagine that they're following the science, there is no science. And we're going to, we're going to touch on that very shortly. Says as the Supreme Court of Alabama has recognized, UAB is a state-run hospital. The letter said, and that's basically the point: is that a lot of the money that these hospitals get, they get from the local government. Now, granted, the look, you know, as you've seen through 2020 and 2021, the government they just they just print the shit out of the dollar. It has it really has no value. They just go back there. And they draw a little green ink on a piece of paper and they put a they put a dollar sign on it. They put a numerical value on it and they just print it. But now they don't even do that because the paper and the ink is worth more than the dollar. So they just go back there and they just type a couple of zeros into the computer and then they send you some digital dollars. And this is what this is how people, in essence, become slaves to the system because they become in bed with the government. The government just basically prince fairy fairy tale currency this fiat currency out of nowhere and the hospitals and and all these big businesses become slaves in fact the whole world and that's why there's a lot of turmoil now going on because a lot of these countries are seeing what america is doing what the president and the federal reserve here is doing and they're like you know what maybe we're going to go a different route and that's why you might be noticing they're referred to as supply chain shortages and this will go on for quite some time it says consequently uab hospital may not require its employees to disclose whether they have been vaccinated right neither does the white house if you notice that there have been uh, numerous people that have ex- been exempted one of them being the nba oh sorry you're not a multi-million dollar uh, basketball player but if you're a medical ho- if you're a medical worker when you you better you better fall in line and of course the people like um what is it the uh the postmen are also exempt and it's because, of course, a lot of the money gets funneled from them, and they're not going to back them, they're not going to vote for them. And, of course, things like mail-in ballots. You can't have all these mail carriers decide to up and leave the job because they impose a mandate when you've got an election coming up and you're going to want to be sending out a whole bunch of uh, uh, mail-in ballots. Now, can you? And it goes on to say, it says, likewise, the Alabama Attorney General has explained the law explained the law and concluded that no government school or business in Alabama may demand that a constituent or customer respectively be vaccinated or show proof of his or her vaccination. And I'm like, why didn't, why didn't Ron DeSantis do that? Right. Why didn't Ron DeSantis, the hospital that I'm at, they got a mandate come November 15th. Maybe they will accept you. And like I said, in my last video of the 4,000 people who haven't taken and have applied for exemption, they have given 80 exemptions out out of four thousand right so it really goes to show you that these exemptions they're kind of like they're in name only hey great for the 80 people who got it who don't have to take it but the thing is is that if you get everybody else in line they're going to start looking at those 80 and be like you know i think we can do without you maybe we'll hire some temps right so all these 80 people that are like sitting there packing themselves on the back thinking that they're, they're they're okay but if everybody else gets forced to fall in line People are going to start looking at you like, 
Why didn't you have to take it? What did you write down? I want to know what you wrote down so I can write, so I can write down that same thing. And of course, the hospitals will then subsequently say, you know what? We're going to do away with this whole exemption thing because the federal government is going to come down on our heads. Maybe they're going to pull some financing. And this is how the squeeze takes place for a lot of these healthcare workers where the government just basically says, fall in line, do what we say or else. So it goes on to say Alabama uh, Attorney General Steve Marshall also questioned the legality the, the legality of the Biden administration mandate, saying he has received complaints about privacy violations, according to the Alabama Political Reporter. And of course, a lot of these attorneys are they're trying to go whichever route they think is going to work, thinking that they're dealing with rational people. And of course, really what this is all about is the vaccine passport. It's not about the vaccine. It's about the passport. That's really what they want, because through the passport, they can then control you in every way that they want. If they force you to have your vaccination record on a passport, well, then they can link your currency to that exact same passport. And so just like in China, where they have a social credit system, America can go that same way via a surveillance state. And that's what they really that's why they really push for it. it doesn't matter if you have antibodies. You can show them antibodies to your heart's content. That's why you see all of this, you know, irrational discussion about there's no such thing as antibodies. What are you talking about? There's no such thing as natural immunity. That doesn't even exist. That's a myth. There's been like stupid these stupid articles talking about how natural immunity is a, is a myth. And it's because it has nothing to do with the virus. It has nothing to do with the vaccine. But it has everything to do with the passport that's what they really want the goal is not to get everybody vaccinated the goal is to get everybody on the passport this is marshall instead of referring to statewide immunization in several of those cases a shared employer specifically acknowledged accessing the state immunization database for this purpose this privacy violation is unlawful he said marshall said other health provider other health care providers should also take note and not be asking employees about their immunization status. And he says he said that when the vaccine mandate takes place, Alabama will file a lawsuit against it, uh, according to um, Alabama.com as a website that, that links to it says the vaccine mandate is unprecedented in its audacity and unlawful in its application. And it's really it's really not unprecedented because the Nazis did the same thing. It's where the whole uh, the whole meme of show me your papers, right? Because to move around during Nazi Germany, they wanted to see your papers. They wanted you to identify who you were so that they could know where you were going. It was all about control. We're just a little bit more advanced. So instead of people, well, some, some of these individuals really are showing their papers, please, in terms of their card. But the whole purpose is to get people on that exact same sort of treadmill so that they can then start implementing other stuff, right? Because once you're used to being told what to do, you're told what you got to take in your body, you're just a slave. You just become a slave to the state. And so then once you've accepted COVID lockdowns, well, then maybe you'll accept climate lockdowns. Right? We got a lockdown for climate change. Right? You've heard of that where climate change is even worse than the virus, right? You, you hear all this talk from Nancy Pelosi and from Joe Biden and all these different other individuals in politics talking about, uh, talking about climate change. And that's the real point, is to kind of minimize people's movement, have much more of a surveillance state, control people, get people on a digital passport so that no matter where you want to go, the government knows exactly what you're doing, where you're going, and if you fall out of line, well, then your money disappears, right? Because everything will be on that passport. And so maybe you wanted to go travel out of state, and the government's like, you know what? You've been posting too many negative things about the government on social media, and I'm sorry, but your credit score doesn't allow you to travel to where you want to go. And this is basically what they're pushing. It's why they're pushing so so hard for this, is because it's really about the passport. It's not about the, the science. It's not about people's health. If that was the case, they would have told people, hey, go out there and lose weight. 80% of all COVID patients are overweight or obese. But there hasn't been any sort of a campaign for people to lose weight. Right? McDonald's hasn't been shut down. McDonald's hasn't been forced to shut down. They have been deemed uh, as, a, as a, a business that is not necessary, right? But other businesses have. 
It goes on to say, it says, um, the president for Alabama Hospital Association said voluntary efforts have produced vaccination rates of 50 to 80 percent, depending upon the facility. It's not small. It's not a small issue if we have unvaccinated employees. Hospitals have successfully navigated the waters of getting people vaccinated for the most part and then have been able to do without mandates. And. You can read the rest of the article, but what we are going to see is a little video over here. Now, this is Dr. Lena Wen. You typically will see her on CNN. She's always on TV talking about how we need to limit the movement of the unvaccinated because it's like drunk drivers being on the road, etc. And I want you to listen to her ridiculous uh, explanation. It's only about 20 seconds. And those who are vaccinated, we now know, based on the CDC, they are now able, We, but with the Delta variant, because they carry so much more virus, they could transmit it to their unvaccinated family members. And so I, for example, even though I'm fully vaccinated, my children are not because they're too young to be vaccinated. So I need to be now careful for my children because of all the unvaccinated people around us. And those. And so as you can see from her very own explanation, that the vaccinated have more virus in their nose than the unvaccinated. And so she's worried about her kids. She's vaccinated. And as she said, my kids aren't because they're too young. And I'm worried about giving them the disease. And I'm like, well, wait a minute. I thought the whole point of getting the vaccine was so that you're protecting other people, right? So then you're protecting yourself. But she's worried about giving it to her kids. Why? Because she's a super spreader. In her own words, she just literally identified herself as a super spreader, which what is which is what the vaccinated are. Out of her own mouth. This isn't me making it up. This is her. Too foolish. You know, as the Bible says, that there is sin in the multitude of words. And it basically gonna leave it here i'm basically gonna leave it here i wish more hospitals would go this route but i understand it's not that the hospitals are forcing these people to get vaccinated because it works it's because that's where their bread and butter is coming from that's where the money this the money from this uh, for the states for hospitals is all coming from the federal government so a lot of these hospitals are, are forced to choose between getting fined losing funding etc has nothing to do about the science it has everything to do with compliance and that's really what the government is looking for and that's why i said when push comes to shove i'm gonna be walking across the rio i'm gonna be walking across the rio if they put out some sort of mandate that i can't fly i'm gonna be out there hitchhiking my way to get to the texas border so i can cross so i can cross the rio anyway i'm gonna leave it there thanks for watching of course feel free to like comment and subscribe let me know what you think